What is going on, Navy? We back at it again with some more Beyond Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> Return of the Falling Gods, bro. You know what I'm saying? Last episode, my boy Vegeta got that W. You know what I'm saying? Against Cobras, got that, you know, made that boy bend the knee. You feel me? But these got destructions, bro. They getting it back in blood. You know what I'm saying? That nigga Cobras, he, he plotting. Yeah. Goku, Vegeta, Broly. Go to the lab. Beerus? Yeah, Beerus already about to look. Beerus about to lock in. I'm not, I cannot wait to see Beerus again, bro. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't know when, when the next time we're gonna see this man, but I cannot wait to see him again. You know what I'm saying? But then on top of that, we got Gardox, this fucking little goblin, little troll looking nigga. I'm thinking he gonna find Frieza. No, he put up on Earth with Gohan and Piccolo. He got Pan right by his side. I'm like, oh my God, bro. You wanna play a little game? I'm like, bruh. Just got done with these damn games with Murno and shit. You know what I'm saying? With Zeno. <laughs> I played more games, bro. Ah, man. But God, that, you know, the Cell Max shit was going on around this time. Damn, man. Thank God. I don't know. I don't know what's worse. Him pulling up on uh on Gohan or him pulling, pulling up on Frieza type shit. Because, oh my God, of mercy. If that nigga learned God key, or, uh, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> destruct, <laughs> learn Hakai. Oh my God. That nigga gonna kill the first guy he see, bro. The nigga who taught him, he gonna kill that nigga. Frame one. <laughs> At least try to, anyway. But anyway, anyway, I would like, man, comment down below and subscribe. Roll to 3K. So you're not subscribed, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Follow your boy on the Twitch, Patreon, and gaming channel. I'm wanting to learn more about below. Go I just beat, I just beat fucking Wukong yesterday, bro. Lord have mercy, man. Ooh, wee. I don't think, I know this is a secret ending. I did not get it. I'm gonna do that for my, my own time type shit, but yeah. Anyway, of course, subscribe to Alex. Get brought to uh two million. Stop playing. They get. Oh, I like this. So, you know what I'm saying. The whispers of destruction. Universe 15 destroy your lives. Gohan, spring guards to come true. Like ah. Ah, I don't know, Gohan. Good luck, fam. As our story now begins on Earth, following bro, I just the fought this nigga Cell Max, bro. Our heroes having to face off and defeat Cell Max, as with the unexpected and yet surprising arrival of Universe 15's God of Destruction, Gardox being shown confronting Piccolo and Gohan, was when Piccolo went on to then respond, Now, let's not get too hasty here and allow for mm -hmm. cooler heads to prevail, all right? And nah, facts. includes leaving Pan out of this, so what nah, facts. are you interested in that made you want to come here? With Gardox responding, Well, it's simple mortals for i couldn't help but notice an extraordinary surge of power that was emanating from this planet and it mm. went and piqued my interest in finding out as to what the source of this power was and so well now that i'm here i want to know has that lazy beerus really nurtured such formidable beings that rival the level of a destroyer or could Oof. this all simply had been a fluke gardox questions so or I find you, she playing my daughter you gonna find out nigga. Mortal, especially on this instance significant planets could possess power that draws the attention of a god of destruction but yet mm. here i am driven by my own curiosity in finding out gardox continues as it's rare for a god of destruction to take notice of a mortal's power but if that beerus truly has mm. mortals who are worthy of rivaling a god in strength then it's something that i must see with my very own eyes for she i would for a worthy challenger to go beerus got like what five niggas yeah, Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Frieza, Gohan, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Piccolo, Piccolo probably soon. <laughs> Piccolo gonna get up to two low key angle. So, what, six? Yeah, you know where seven built different, bro. We built different. Go up again. That's all I gotta say. We just built different. You go and tell me as to what had happened on this world that had led to this sudden surge of power. With Pan responding, Don't worry, Papa. He's not as bad as that big scary monster that you all went and fought right now because he's just a little curious. You don't understand, Pan. Listen, mm. Lord Gar. 
Paradox Gohan responds, The reason on why you were able to sense that sudden surge of power was because we just finished fighting off a monstrous android that went by the name of Cell Max. Mm -hmm. And well, it was because of his actions that had resulted in forcing us to do what we needed to do. So please let go of my daughter's hand. But then, it was only just oh, Lord. was then shown having to reach on down in attempting to grab Pan's hand was when Gardox was shown having to pull Pan back and then responding, an android named Cell Max. Oh my God. See, you ain't even got to do all this, bro. But you didn't answer. He could just ask the damn question, bro. He ain't got. He ain't even got to look at Pan, hold her hand, none of that shit, bro. We was going. We, we was going to get the answers. You ain't got to do all this extra shit. See, see, this that dumb shit that make. See, make niggas like Gohan crash out, bro. Cause y'all keep playing on his name. <laughs> Answer my question, mortal. For I doubt that it was the android that was emanating such a large energy signature, which uh -oh. only makes me wonder on which one of you it was that was responsible for this power output. Gardox continues. Keep playing. Yeah, you gonna I, see? I really wish that you were there to see how scary this giant monster was that my papa and the others had to fight off. Because well, he was just so big and strong that my papa and Uncle Piccolo were forced to transform with Gardox responding uh -oh. forced to transform huh very interesting yes yeah. so now tell me was it you i'm assuming oh, that well. judging based off your appearance you must be a namekian aren't you so were you the one that i felt this enormous power come from gardox questions because if you were the source of this energy output then i want you to show me this power right now with piccolo responding bro nigga's name a train to go exactly into this shit you know what i'm saying Pickle, Pickle Street. Whatever power it was but, uh, go on, go on, gotta. Hold on, Piccolo isn't the one that you were looking for because the power that you likely felt that piqued your curiosity had come from me, Gohan went on to quickly mm. respond. And so there's no need to go and get anyone else involved because I'm the one that you are looking for, with Gardox responding. So it was your power that I was able to sense all the uh -oh. way from Beerus's planet, huh? Well, this is intriguing. And so now tell me, does this power of yours that you displayed have anything to do with Beerus? I'm curious. Were you trained mm. by that lousy house cat, or keep talking on his name? Keep talking on his name, though. Attempting to mimic the god. No lie, though. He got that shit on. Well, I can't okay. say that I'm trying to mimic any kind of god, but I was never trained by Lord Beerus either, and I can't tell you on what that power is or where it comes from, other than it's simply happening within the moment when fighting off Cell Max. Interesting. Thing. Well, you want to uh -oh. know what I think, Gardox? Oh, Lord, what? Question? What, nigga? I think you're lying to me because there's no possible way that a mortal as scrawny and nerdy looking as you could ever reach a destroyer's power alone. And so I think that you were trained by Beerus. Am Keep talking. I right? Well, just so you know, I. I go on, check this nigga, bro. Say, cut. I don't know who you are. God of destruction. Little goblin looking nigga. I ain't been, I ain't been on Beerus planet. Period. Not one time, cut. Yeah, my dad and my, you know what I'm saying, Uncle Vegeta, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But not me. I got my face. Go on, check this dude, bro. Come at you sideways, bro. I'm, I'm lying. I don't like Nigga, you don't know me. Gardox continues. And when I found out that Beerus had mocked my destruction following my universe's erasure, I from there mm. on made a vow to make him pay for what he said about me. And so are you his students? Well, whatever your business is with Lord Beerus, head, bro. Gohan responds, you has the, nothing the, the to do with shit. me, and I'm not lying to you either. I was never yeah, asked this nigga, Gohan. I ever volunteered to be trained by Lord Beerus. Facts. With all due respect, Get the fuck out my face. Yeah, go on. Crash out, cut. Go and take up with Lord Beerus. Go Thanks. Get off my planet, bro. I've been through enough as it is today, so if you're looking for a challenge against those who were and have been training on Lord Beerus's planet, then you will go and find my father and Vegeta over there for you to go and talk to if you have any questions. Go on, went on to then mm. walk towards Pan. So in the meantime, don't come anywhere near my daughter and leave us all Facts. Tell him a good cut. to fight you, nor am I the right person for you to view as a rival, so please leave us all alone. Well, this mm. was certainly an unexpected and dare I even say a very rude answer, Lord Gardox. Man, you came at me sideways, nigga. Respond. So do you wish for us to take our leave and head back onto Lord Beerus's world so that way we may speak to this Goku and Vegeta with Gardox responding? Actually, Vodkel, I think we'll stay just a tad bit longer as I want to make one thing perfectly uh -oh. clear to you, mortal. Oh, your shit. refusal to do as I instruct along with your audacity to redirect me to Beerus is a direct Challenge to my authority, Gardox went on to the Nigga, you you the one that got problems with Beerus, bruh. <laughs>
See, bro. See, go, see, go high. See, 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 see. These guys are hey, these niggas like testing niggas' patience, bro. Y'all, y'all starting the beef, bro. They starting shit. <laughs> Bring I already know you, nigga. You was dead, nigga. Get out my face. For I don't know how long. Get out my face, bro. Let go of my arm. Mm. Responding, you are in no position, nor do you have the authority to uh -oh. issue any kind of directive to a god of destruction. Uh -oh. Mortal, for uh -oh. my notoriety as being one of the most unforgiving and vile gods of destruction is not just for show either. Uh -oh. and in order for you to get a sense of being able to understand this fact, I'll have to show you. Oh my so god, here we go with the bullshit. The reminder, just as Beerus had once reminded me of the old saying better him than me right mortal in which upon initial contact with Gardox being Bet. shown having to tap Gohan in the chest and having to send him flying outwards was when Piccolo then went on to shout oh no Gohan Gohan are you alright oh I was worried that it would come down to this that's what I'm saying bro healed, that's what I'm saying not even healed Cell Max either. just got out the oh, fight listen, bro Gohan. Even though this wasn't something that we had been expecting, we've got no other choice but to stand our ground here and not allow for anything to happen until we can figure out a plan. So can you mm. hear me? Uh, yeah, I hear you, Piccolo Gohan went on to emerge from the rubble. And it looks like whatever his problem is with Lord Beerus is something that he's looking to try and take out on us as payback. Wait, Weak ass what's nigga, bro. He about to do with Pan? As Gardox went on to address Pan by Don't do it, bro. Don't do there, it. Little girl, since you and I are now the best bestest of best friends what don't do, do it i go and show you a really cool magic trick huh? don't do you it do, of course like magic don't you well take a look at this right here gardox went on to hold out. don't do, do you it see this giant sheet that i'm holding here well best friend how's about we go and make your daddy disappear for a moment and see if he could find his way back out to us huh doesn't that uh -oh. sound like a really electrifying he, he, idea? he doing it but he Gohan doing it was not having it because despite with Gohan now being shown dashing directly towards Gardox was when Gohan then went on to shout you leave my little pan out of this get away mm. from him right now pan well my papa does love magic tricks pan responds almost as much as God I damn it, pan. will my papa be okay with you showing him with Gardox responding oh don't you worry little friend for I'm sure that you're so in quotation marks <laughs> every bit of it now watch and pay close attention oh no Gohan Whatever you do, do not come in contact with that thing. Piccolo then went on to quickly shout. He's going to try and trap you with Gardox responding. Uh -oh. Well, it's like your flimsy destroyer Beerus once said. Better you than me, right, mortal? All so right. I do sure hope that you are able to channel more of that special power of yours if you wish to break free. And well, ta-da. And he's Go on, hit that nigga. Hit, hit that see? nigga with the so meanest like of shits, bro. Went on to question. The meanest Pretty of cool. rights, bro. Wasn't it? With Pan responding, wow, that was awesome. Oh my God, Pan so oblivious, little baby girl. Like ghost under there, but will he be okay? Because my papa doesn't look too happy right he now. He not happy. He pissed. Responding, oh, don't you worry about your daddy, kiddo. I'm about the crash out. By his own claims, your father should be strong enough to find his way out of my little magic trap. But just in case he doesn't, then what do you think will make your daddy angry enough to the point where he will go and show me his full power? Oh, Any Lord. Ideas, friend? That's enough! Why uh -oh. are you doing this? Piccolo went on to then shout by dashing towards Gardox. Have you lost your mind or what? Stop this and get away from the girl. There's Backhand no need my nigga, to bro. do this. Well, there may be no need for you to do this and get involved, Gardox responds. Mm. But for me, this is exactly what it was that I wanted, Namekian. Now do yourself a favor and go join your friend over there while I attend to my little friend over here, Gardox. Piccolo about to get trapped too. Piccolo by responding, for you are all just as stubborn as Beerus is. In which upon the moment of contact with Piccolo's body shown having to crash into Gohan's while he was wrapped up in the white sheet that Gardox had thrown was when Gohan then went on to utter, oh, hang on, Piccolo, I'll try and break us out of this. To which uh -oh. as Gohan was now able to narrowly be shown doing was when Gardox then went on to respond, well, well, would you look at that? It seems as though there might be something here with mm. this mortal after all, since he was able to break through my goblin's trick so fast. Hey, what's going on with my papa and uncle Piccolo over there, Pan? Went on Pan, go from this nigga Pan. They look like they're having any sort of fun, and it looks like they're hurt too oh don't you worry about them they're actually 
having so much fun that it looks like they're in trouble when in actuality this your nigga. father and that Namekian are doing just fine, kid. This Trust nigga. Trust me, Gardox responds. And since your father appears to be wasting my time by not showing me the true extent of his destroyer rivaling power that Beerus had trained him to wield, mm. what do you say I show you a very magical place that I just know you are going to love? So go on here. Have a look for yourself, Gardox went on to spawn. Don't do it. Responding. Come now, don't be afraid, little one. Inside this pot lies the gateway to incredible worlds, places filled with wonders and excitement, Gardox continues. The pan Just disappears. That nigga about to crash out. That most mortals could only ever dream of, best friend. Magical worlds and fun places, Pan questions. You mean like amusement parks that have all sorts of fun rides that me and Papa and Uncle Piccolo can go and ride on with Angel Bob. Oh, she's so oblivious. Now, now, don't be scared, little one, as you wouldn't want to go and anger Lord Gardox, for he is known for having a very short temper. However, I do promise that you'll be safe no matter where it is that Lord Gardox decides to take you. And as I'm sure that, um, your friend here is more than interested in your father than anything else, Vodko continues, mm -hmm. which is why I'm sure that Lord Gardox wants to go and take you up for a ride before before this day is through. Oh, what, what in the world did he just go and use on us? Gohan went on to question. Oh no. Get up. Get away from him, Pan. What is he showing her over there? And why do I feel so drained after being caught up within that thing? Oh, P mm. Piccolo, are you okay? Get up, Piccolo. Get We're up. No other choice than to deal with this guy here and now, Piccolo. Oh, don't. Don't look inside of that thing, Pan. With Pan Wait. having to then question, my fuba. Really fun rides and cotton candy to eat over there too. With Gardox having to redirect his pot by then responding, then they go to crash up. Yes, all the rides that you can ride and all of the candy that you can eat, little one, and it all mm. waits patiently for you. As all you'll need to do is just look inside, and there we are. In you go, little one. To which and kidnapped the whole child making its way and having to be teleported within the pot was when guard dg man to continue you got to get yourself killed easier than <laughs> i thought but now do you see what true pain feels like mortal and since beerus once thought that it was amusing to watch something be taken away from me i only now find it more than fitting to go nigga i'm not beerus nigga you. All right. As your daughter is my pawn now, and if you have any hope of getting her back, then All you right. have to play a little game. For if you want your daughter back, then you'll have to prove yourself, and so come and play my game if you dare. Well, fuck Dr. you in your games. Utter, did he just seriously do what I think he just did? But that's just horrible. She's gone. And he baited her into looking inside of that pot, and now she's completely vanished. Hello, that's Gamma just one. terrible. Now, have you lost your mind? Boma went on to shout. That's a child. What did you <coughs> just do to Pan? Where did you just take her? Oh, how could uh -oh. you? Uh -oh. She's completely gone, Gamma One responds. For I can't detect her life energy anywhere, so she must have been transported somewhere with Gohan having to then shout, Pan! What have you done, you spoilless coward? Uh -oh. Where is she? Where did you send my daughter? Uh -oh. to Answer me right now! Gohan, I can't sense her energy anywhere, Piccolo went on to respond, which probably means that she's likely off-world. So while I refuse to believe that Beerus had zero influence over any of you in allowing for there to at least be one mortal that exists who can rival the might of a god, Gardox went on to then respond, and as Beerus mm. wallows in his own defeat, feet and self-pity back on his planet by the hands of Lord Reno. I figured what better way to further add insult to injury than by tearing his universe apart from the inside. He's don't nigga, worry bro. for your daughter is still alive, but to get to her, you'll first need to complete my little game, which you'll soon come to realize that it won't be so easy for you to do. And so we'll call this game the three stages uh -oh. of hell, each with its own unique challenge that will only bring you ever so close to of hell, huh? On some rest, on some wrestling shit, WWE shit. Or losing as a result will mean automatic death. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? So uh, how's about we keep oh things 
god, bro. Bet. So let's start by seeing if you're fast enough to catch up and follow us to our preferred destination. And if you can somehow manage to endure, then we'll begin with the first phase of our game, Gardox continues. Maybe that ought to show me what Beerus's mortals around here are about to see, Nick. About once I start kicking each of them into overdrive. You ready? Why, you? <laughs> she so is even loses a single hair on her head. I'm going to rip you to pieces. Tell him about getting go hard. That power of yours beginning to flare back up again, Gohan Piccolo went on to utter. We can't run the risk of falling mm. behind, so we'll need to act fast, Gohan. Right, so let's see if you mm. have what it takes to fight for your daughter's freedom, mortal. And Come on, Gohan. Loves to put it, better you than me. You right? keep saying, it, nigga, I'm not virus. I'm a man. To which the very moment Garnox and his angel were then sure having to leave the planet with Gohan in hot pursuit was when Piccolo quickly went on to then shout Gohan, no, when you whip his ass, better you need me, Gohan, bitch. I'll be right behind you. We can't let them escape. Oh, we need, we need a sensu beam, a dende, a majin boo. We need something. Shit, huh? Extending his arms and latching onto Gohan's legs was when mm. Gohan then went on to shout, No, not on my watch. You won't. Hang on, Pan. Gotcha. I'm right behind you, Gohan. Mm. Just hold on and hang on tight no matter what. What happens, Piccolo? As long as you stay close by me, we'll be able to reach their targeted destination. <laughs> this nigga, so <laughs> back, this nigga about to be like, nigga, I'm not thinking I touch my, touch my, my shoes, bro. Because they both appear to be very dedicated, especially the one that the Namekian refers to as Gohan in saving his daughter, my lord. With Gohan to find out. Looking on down and responding, oh good, just as I hoped would be the case. And so now let's go for a ride as we venture back home into my universe. So for their sake, they better hold on tight or they just might end up drifting out within the voids of space. Yes, and if Beerus's lazy universe truly Bruh. does happen to house mortals who are relative to a destroyer, then I'm going to make sure that I get as much out of this entire ordeal as I possibly can. As Officer Krillin then went on to respond, <coughs> Officer oh, Krillin. And here I thought that dealing with that crazy Cell Max was bad, but things just keep going from bad to worse with no end in sight and so now what are we all going to do because we can't hey. just go after well of course we can't just go and chase after them Krillin hey call goku call so Lisa, you know, what are we going to do come and help me look for Reese's communicator device so that we can go and contact vegeta goku and beerus right now so hurry it up because we can't waste any more time as now nah, facts right then and there, so these the niggas playing on our name bro dragon ball super the they're playing on universe seven bro destruction the universe Hold up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the next episode, bro. These niggas playing on our name, bro. Like, bro, bro, bro. I don't know who these niggas think they are, bro. They think Universe 7 is sweet, bro. Ain't shit sweet. They about to, they about to learn. <laughs> they gonna know the, the hard way. They keep playing with us, bro. <laughs> they gonna learn the hard way. I'm telling you. On me. Oh, this. It's not the pain and shit. In front of my nigga and whatnot. All right, when you crash out on you, bro, don't say nothing. Don't say a damn thing when you crash out. I don't want to hear shit. What the bum? What's up? Put them hands up. Wanna kidnap my daughter, huh? Put them hands up. Hey. As our story now continues back on Beerus's planet, hey, there go my book. There go my goat. Heal. Zenkai. Let's go. Cobras, as with Whis now shown having to insert himself in going as far as to heal Vegeta, was when Whis then went on to respond, You know, I must say, your victory over Lord Cobras is nothing short of remarkable, Vegeta. For it's mm -hmm. not every day that a mortal is shown besting a god of destruction like that in battle, so I must admit that I am rather very impressed that you were able to go and do it. And so, how do you feel after such a a monumental victory and acknowledgement with Vegeta responding <laughs> while facing off against such a formidable opponent was by far no easy task for me to manage as his control over destruction was certainly far greater when compared to mine which had only then forced me to rethink my strategy during the middle of our battle and while his power felt overwhelming at times Vegeta continues mm -hmm. it was his skillful use of his power that had posed the real challenge so I had to disrupt his focus and attack him psychologically to gain the advantage because if I didn't 
vessel, then he likely would have overtaken me completely and destroyed me during our second battle, with Whis responding, mm. and so you went and did exactly as Lord Beerus had instructed for you to do, which was to allow yourself to always keep your mind on destruction while throwing Lord Cobras off of his by getting him to focus more on his emotions rather than the art of destruction itself. For it's a very mm. rare case, if I may add, but a very smart battle strategy indeed, Vegeta, with Vegeta responding, it was, but I know Dr. that this isn't over between us, for I must continue to train and hone my destructive powers if I wish to stand a better chance the next time we fight. As I know that there is more for me to achieve, so I can't let this victory be what gets to my head, especially now. Which, speaking uh, of facts. Virus, did something happen while I was away, Vegeta went on to question. You missed it, my nigga. Oh. There was something that was bothering him. On you missed it, fam. That he also looked as though he was involved in some kind of a fight. So did something happen to him while I was away in Universe 14? For he appeared very angry, but also very quiet, which is quite unusual of Lord Beerus, Vegeta continues. You feel me? Especially during situations like the one that had taken place here with Cobras. So did I happen to miss something or what? With Whis responding, well, there's quite a lot for us to unpack here while you've been away. But Lord Beerus is currently over there, Whis went on to point out. For I'd assume that he wishes not to be bothered at this time. For while you were taken within Universe 14, there were several significant developments that had taken place here. With Universe 13's God of Destruction, Reno, being one of them. And as he hmm. arrived with a special sanction from the Grand Priest in challenging Lord Beerus to a battle which was a confrontation that was quite unprecedented and unexpected yep. to say the least. And so while giving it his best with such short notice, Lord Reno didn't just defeat Lord Beerus, but had went as far as to force him into submission in front of the other resurrected gods of destruction, which was a sight that was not a good look, bro. for all those who had witnessed, especially for Lord Beerus once it was all said and done. Wait, are you serious? Vegeta went on to then question. Yep. So Universe 13's destroyer was actually given the green light to go and fight Lord Beerus and he actually beat him in front of the other revived gods of destruction yep. as well? But how did this happen? I thought Lord Beerus was supposed to be one of the strongest destroyers among the entire lineup. And so what mm. happened with Whis responding? Well, he was, but over the years with Lord Beerus glossing over and overlooking his training along with focusing on other things as he allowed for his lazy nature to get the better of him and causing yep. him to forget about his title mostly. But I do have a feeling that this won't be the case with him for long, especially if what my gut is telling me is true, then I'm pretty sure that this was exactly what Lord Beerus had needed in order to get him back into prime condition. Yeah, mm. it was honestly pretty rough to watch Lord Beerus go down nah, the way facts. he did Goku went on to then add, but he also had seemed to give off this really weird sense of tension as I'm not really sure on what Lord Beerus plans to go and do now, but about to go lock you, in. did you guys happen to also sense that strange energy signature that appeared from out of nowhere too? And well, because I'm not really sure on what to make of it since there was so much that was going on around here at once, but it kind of felt like it was coming from Earth as well. Did anyone oh, else shit. happen to feel that? With Broly having to then chime in, you weren't the only one who went and sensed that because I went and sensed it too. And while it happened within mm. the moment, it felt like it came from a Saiyan. With Goku responding, you think it came from a Saiyan, but the only Saiyan that I would figure for a power like that to come from would be Gohan, but, well, I never felt a power like that come from Gohan before, so yeah. do you think something happened back on Earth with Whis? Yeah. Well, won't tell come to think of it, I did happen to sense something that appeared to be coming from planet Earth as well, so maybe we should, but then it was yet again now from out of nowhere with a gigantic burst uh -oh. being shown having to happen behind Yeah, who pulled it up? Whis then went on to continue. No, dear. Well, I guess it went and... Uh, my baby girl about us. And as I wonder now on who that could be... Chompa, boy, if you was here, boy, you would get your ass beat too, bro. Oh, me. Now, hasn't it? Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me, Vegeta then went on to quickly shout. Don't tell me that more of these destroyers are coming here now. Bro, everybody pulling up to my nigga house, bro. Today, with Goku I don't know, fam. Oh, great. Well, I'm hoping that this isn't another one.
one of those really angry gods like that Lord Primos destroyer, cuz... Well, he nearly went and started a fight with Broly, oh. We can't seem to catch a break around uh -oh. here since these destroyers have been revived, oh. And so, hang on, guys, but... Look at this, nigga. To the sudden shock and surprise what this nigga just said, bro? Entities that were shown having to arrive were none other than Universe 6's... Hey, Bottles. As Chompa went on to then respond, Well, 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 I just had to come and see it for myself to believe it, but I hope that we're not huh? too late for the party. And so now, where is he? Because I don't seem to see my this nigga. brother anywhere, Vados, but is it true, Weiss? Of all the times that I could have been there to witness something, this has to without... I don't know why you laughing, nigga. You'd be you, you'd have been next on the list. <laughs> you would have got your ass beat too. Why is he laughing? Nigga, why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Now watch. Next time, next time you see your brother, he ain't gonna be the same nigga, bro. That's all I gotta say, bro. I to see unfold. And so are we late with Goku then having to chime in? Hey, wait a minute. That isn't one of those newly revived gods of destruction from earlier. That's Lord Champa. What's Lord Champa? But what could Champa want by coming here? Vegeta questions. As we huh? went on to then respond. Well, this is most certainly an unexpected but yet welcoming surprise. And yeah. so greetings, Lord Champa. It's so good to see you again. As I do recall, the last time that we were shown having to see each other was during the event of the tour. Tournament of power and so it's good to see you now what do i owe you the pleasure of here today lord champa for i assume that you are here to simply come and say hello with champa responding this thing trying to rub it in one to lie we so i trust that you can point me into the direction on showing me where my lousy no good brother beerus is at the moment and make it quick no hey there lord champa go uh. on to wave by shouting and it's been a really long time since we saw you and so it's really good to see you again and so i really hope that you know that we haven't forgotten about your universe either because we're really looking forward to fighting them all again one day and the boss said well fuck, fuck you look at his face boss fuck you it's you how could i forget <laughs> uh -oh. why are you always on beerus's planet saying don't you have anything else better to do than to always want to fight someone or cause some kind of a multiversal catastrophe so you're <laughs> supposed to be another one of those gods of destruction too broly went on to approach by looking on down and pointing you don't look like much of a destroyer you Damn. look just like that other cat of uh, lord beerus but you're much fatter than he is and much more pudgy looking with an Damn. Responding. What did you just say to me? Are you serious? Is Chopper dead ass, my nigga? Ain't nobody worried about you, fam. Ain't nobody worried about you. Not even fucking Broly. The fact that he even said that shit, like, nigga, look like, why, why he, why he built like this? <laughs> why, bro, out of shape? <laughs> that nigga just roasted you, bro. You? And just who in the Yemma are you supposed to Not be? Yemma. I don't ever recall seeing this big stupid face at You don't want the smoke. So how dare you disrespect me? Eh, sorry about that, Lord Champa, but he's kind of new to the whole gods thing. Goku went on to quickly butt in. But this here is Broly, and he's a Saiyan too, just like me and Vegeta. And so don't worry about him. Broly doesn't mean any harm by what he said, you know? Now he did. Saiyan. Uh, well, I don't care, you hear me? So you're lucky that I'm here to laugh at my brother otherwise you two would get it and so now where is he I'm not worried about you I didn't come here to be insulted I'm not about you. idiots and so now where's beer out of shape so I can just say it for you to watch what you say around Lord Beerus especially now after now, who the fuck is this pulling up place here but if you really want to know then he is currently over there in his home where I'd assume he is prepping as he looks to make his next move with Chompa responding prepping huh then the rumors mm. going around of how badly Lord Reno had beat and him must have yeah. really fired him up then and especially if he's contemplating something with Vados having to chime in right and i second this as you should know firsthand on just how serious and just how dangerous your brother lord beerus can be and especially mm. when he finds himself being driven towards something with cause and so i wonder as to what he'll do next okay, even, yeah, even Vados well, co-signing that shit i'm surprised champa went on to then continue and especially since i always tried to tell beerus that someone was going to come along and shut that big stupid mouth of his and so mm. for his sake he better be thankful that it wasn't me who went in but then it was once again nigga, nobody worried about you quiet now who but who is just pulling up again bro everybody's going to my nigga house 
what's this? Well, who is this? Though we may not be the only visitors who intended on coming here after all. In which surprisingly enough now from out of nowhere having to come back onto Beerus' planet was none other than the angel of Universe 15 that went by the name of Rizal as Rizal went on to then respond, Ah, but of course, I knew that I had sensed your life mm -hmm. force on this planet, sister. It's been a very long time now, hasn't it, Vados? Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. good. So Beerus' mortals are both still here with, of course, the addition of a third, I see. No, and hello uh -huh. again there, Whis. It's so tragic to hear about what happened to poor old Beerus. And as I do hope uh -huh. he is able to get well soon because Lord Ferrix certainly does look forward in having a few words with him. But of course, that's okay, not yeah, why I'm here, okay. actually. So it's better if I just go and cut to the chase then, Rizal continues. Hey, I remember that Angel Chompa went on to then respond. And as I can't seem to recall the last time that I had gone as far as to see him, let alone hear Lord Ferrix's name either. So what could he possibly be doing here? With Whis responding, mm. well, that's a bit strange as you were just here, Rizal. And that's so what I'm saying. What you want? Why you have returned with Angel Rizal responding. Well, although Lord Ferrix has some, well, dare I say, unresolved issues with Lord Beerus. Another so not the reason actually on why I've returned. But in fact, Lord Ferrix requests for Lord Beerus's mortals to report back with me into Universe 16 right this moment. Rizal Yo, the fuck you? Who are you? As to why? Well, I'll just leave that up to Lord Ferrix to decide. But I am here simply to bring the mortals into the 16th universe immediately in which during this time when venturing back on over and seeing gohan and Bruh. now arrive within universe oh my God. 15 was when angel Vodka and this went shit. to respond no right there we are now as i Bruh. didn't expect for our trip back from universe 7 nah 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 see all these niggas got me fucked up bro. why am i pressing my universe bro i don't appreciate the disrespect bro at all so quick but nevertheless i welcome you mortals both to lord gardox's domain or as he would famously phrase it the world of magic and despair oh and do make mm. sure to watch your step when roaming around here vodko continues by the way for you might want to go and take a look around you for context with gohan having to then respond hey are you all right piccolo i wasn't expecting for you to grab on when you did but thanks for coming here with me and tracking that bastard down yeah that bitch ass yeah, nigga Bro. Sweated Piccolo responds, so I'm fine, but we need to hurry and start looking for Pan immediately with Gohan then having to question. Right. Hey you, where's Lord Gardox and where did he go and take my daughter? Because if I'm the one that he wants, then he could let my daughter go and come handle business with me instead. That's what I'm Rocco saying. Responding, now, although I understand your frustrations as a father, if Lord Gardox intends for you to earn your way back into getting her from him, then you must prove it with Vodko continuing. Mm. But do rest assured that she will be under my watchful eye during your stay. However, it's important to note that you must comply with Lord Gardox's rules and the tales that he lays out for you if you wish to ensure your daughter's safety. And while mm. Pan remains fine for now, her continued safety hinges on Gohan's performance. Almost kind of like a binding agreement, and deviation from it could have dire consequences, mortals. And while I don't have a personal right. role with Universe 7's God of Destruction, Lord Gardox Gardox, on the other hand, does. And it's because of their long and rich history, especially after Gardox was previously destroyed as I remained inactive, that Lord Gardox had learned of Beerus's hurtful and condescending words, that he now looks mm. to do almost anything and everything that he could just to simply get back and hurt Lord Beerus in any possible way. Nigga, better him than me. Fuck. Means going what are you talking about? Hurting his strongest and most valuable mortals to achieve it, with Piccolo responding, and all of this because of how Lord Beerus had talked about him after he was destroyed crazy Just how low can this crazy destruction go if he's willing to run the risk of getting innocent children involved with gohan responding he's completely out of his mind is what he is and so do you see anything piccolo because i can't seem to get a lock on pan's energy anywhere and so how do we know that pan is even out here to begin with if the only thing that we seem to be looking at here are volcanoes and molten lava everywhere mm -hmm. well color me green you two numbs Skulls actually made it, Gardox went on to then respond. Up uh -oh. here, Universe 7. Welcome to my I'm a, universe, bro, mortals. I'm gonna beat you to the ground, bro. Here, Keep playing. Especially you, Mr. I was in trained by Beerus, as now the game can finally begin. Right. Look, I ain't lying. I got a lot of you. Don't worry. 
worry, I'll be right over there. So just that's not some word they're lying about. You know what I'm saying? Either I was trained by the nigga or I was not. You because we have yet to start our three stages of hell game. So uh -oh. listen closely. Now to earn your freedom and reach your daughter, you must pass all three of the challenges that I've designed for you, Go on. And well, I guess since the Namekian is here too, you can use him as backup because you're going to need it either way. Oh, and just for the record, without giving too much away, each of these three stages, assuming that you even get past one, will essentially mirror the emotional struggles that you've endured in having you relive your most troubling experiences, Gardox continues. Ooh. As you see, the first stage will be timed in seeing how fast you are able to break free and survive, while the final two stages will ensure that you are tested to the highest possible degree. And if you somehow manage to prove your worth and complete my game, then mm. I'll award you a prize and go and set you all free. Sound good? I mean, I kind of feel bad for you in a way, but hey, it's like Bitch, put them hands up. Said, uh -oh. him than me, right, Papa? He keeps saying that Hi, shit. Papa, Back. Look here, Pan went on to then respond. Mr. Green is showing me his really awesome collection of playing cards with Gardox continuing. Oh, and don't worry about the girl for she'll be right here waiting for you in case you happen to actually pass with flying colors. Uh oh, so the now, went orange and beast. Ready for the games to begin? Uh oh, because I certainly am. For it's been a while since I actually had guests on my planet like this, and so I'm ready whenever you are. Go on, listen. Pan is completely unaware of the danger that she is in, for she doesn't understand that this little god of destruction is lying to her and making her actually believe that he's her friend. And on hmm. top of it, I think he's using some kind of a hypnotic technique in going as far as to warp her mind into thinking that he's actually her friend when he's only using her as bait to draw you into his sick game, Piccolo continues. So we've got to go all out here nigga. and leave nothing behind so that way we can go back home. As Gardox went on to then continue, now let's see on which card we will Balls go. Ugh, I can't, oh, sparking zero, bro. I cannot wait. This one ought to be a good enough stage for these mortals to go and experience first. And not to mention the color on this guy here for i didn't know their history dates all the way back to when this gohan was a kid well this ought to mm. be good and to top it all off lastly since i'm feeling a bit spicy here i'll go and give them five minutes to complete stage one of our game which is more than enough time for me to go and watch them fail oh hold on now and what's this gardox questions mm. in which with piccolo and gohan not looking to waste mm. any more time by from there being shown having to unleash their most powerful uh, transformation put them hands up bro then went on to you wait a minute could that be the power that i had sensed on beerus's world yes, yeah nigga. but of course so this mortal was in fact telling the truth for that there is the exact same energy that i felt back in universe 7. so mm. beerus's universe does in fact happen to house mortals who can be compared to a destroyer in power well now you have my attention mortal but i doubt that mm. you'll actually be cunning and skillful enough to survive what's coming with orange piccolo and my nigga pretty smart shown charging towards gardox with gohan shouting the hell with your stupid game Fuck you boy yay so give my daughter back to me right now and i'll gladly give you what you've been asking for with orange piccolo then shouting now leave the little one out of this and come and see what we're all about yeah put them hands up getting back at lord beerus destroyer hey mr green pan went on to then ask why are my papa and uncle Uncle Piccolo so angry at you? You said that they would have a lot of fun, but they don't look like they're having any fun at all. So why do they want me to get away from you? With Gardox responding, now they're just jealous, kid. Now keep quiet and watch as they undergo stage number one. In which oh we're shit! Right now with one of Gardox's cards now being shown having to glow as Gohan and Piccolo made their way towards it was when Gardox then went on to continue. Well, all right now, mortals, and here we. Go. And so good <laughs> luck and remember you only have five minutes to find your way out and break free before time runs out as survival entails on finding your way back or destroying your enemy and so now enjoy in which moments after with Gohan and Piccolo now seemingly having to find uh -huh. themselves exactly where they were shown having to meet Gardox back on earth was when Gohan spawned then my nigga Piccolo got shot frame fucking one we? What just Damn. Happened? Hold on. Wait a minute. Are we back where we just were after destroying? 
destroying Cell Max on Earth? But why would he go and bring us both back to the Red Ribbon headquarters for? With Piccolo responding, I don't think he did. This may in fact look and feel like planet Earth, but let's not gloss over the fact that this destroyer is not above creating a false reality as a part of his twisted game, as this could very well be a trap for all we know, Piccolo continues. Mm. And so either that or he probably sent us both into a parallel reality in what? which either way Lisa? let's try and stay sharp and unravel the first of his three stages because we only have five minutes and we can't afford to but then it was only from out of nowhere with a straight energy blast now shown colliding with piccolo was when gohan then went on to shout what in the Lisa world cause? no piccolo piccolo are you all right nigga no, i've been shot just, where in the world did that blast just come from and it was dangerously accurate and incredibly dense too oh talk to me piccolo are you okay with piccolo responding hurry go on we we don't have Bro. time oh i'm sorry was i interrupting something a familiar voice went on to then question because here i was starting to wonder on when you were going to show your face and especially now since you're all that's left after destroying your father vegeta and broly monkey oh what's wrong mm. gohan you look like you've seen a ghost with the surprised gohan being shown turning his head and responding no but that's impossible <laughs> Is that really you, Frieza? B but it just can't be. And that form and power. What is this? And what do you mean by all that's left? What did you go and do to the others, Frieza? Oh, haven't you heard? Uh -oh. They're all dead, Black Frieza responds. Or perhaps you weren't around when I went and slaughtered them all in this world. Or maybe you're just a mere reflection from another time. Well, either mm. way, now that you are all that's left who is standing in my way aside from that tin can of an android down there here is where your final chapter in our very long story ends saying uh -huh. and even though this new form of yours is unknown to me the form and power which you see here standing before you is far more superior than yours but I like if you if you knew about black freeze a while the fuck you went to go huh to make you <laughs> suffer just like your father had suffered and so what do you say we go and proceed as fate had intended and finally put our historic story to rest go on as it was only right then and there oh my god moments where the beyond dragon ball super story of the resurrected fallen we got beast gohan versus, versus black saga, frieza chapter number two special then comes to a oh la, la, la. actually i'll go and take it from here as i oh la, la, la. yeah if you knew about black frieza why the fuck you go on because that's another nigga you know what I'm saying? That power, I was a god of <laughs> destruction. You feel me? Like, why? <laughs> uh, go on, put them hands up, fam. No cap. Put them hands up, bro. Shit getting wicked, bro. Shit get wicked, wicked, bro. Now we got Universe 16. Barracks is one of. Uh, like. Uh, we'll see, bro. I know people said, comment said at first. I guess one of the good ones. We'll see, though. I ain't see that shit yet. We'll see. He seemed like he, you know what I'm saying? He not high strung like the other niggas. <laughs> that bro, that was just oh my god, bro. All in their feelings and shit about one word, bro. Better him than me. You can pull it up to my yeah. I don't, I don't, what 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 he want with the gang though? What he want with the squad? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. yeah. And champ up, be quiet, bro. We talking head like like you like you. <laughs> Like you built like that. You now built like that, bro. Like one boy Broly said, bro. You out of shape? Yeah, and you're, and you're pudgy. You feel me? So be quiet, bro. Be quiet. But yeah, my nigga Burris, he about to lock in. He about to go train. I don't know how next time we see that boy, but he about to lock in. Next time we see him, everybody who, who pulled up, put them hands up. Godox, Reno, Cobras, everybody, bro. Put them damn hands up, bro. They're talking mad cash money. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all been dead for I don't know how long, millions of years, bro. Y'all talk, y'all coming back talking cash money. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. No, bro. Now I'm about to lock in and whoop y'all asses, bro. Going to my universe, taking my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Just messing up my house, all this other shit, eating, eating up all my food. No, bro, I ain't about to do all this, bro. We're not doing this, bro. We're not having it, bro. We're not having it. this, nigga. Gardox, you you playing a dangerous game.
you know i know it's a meme bro but you don't mess with family fam you, that's that's taboo i don't give a fuck what universe you in that's taboo <laughs> you know what i'm saying you just you, you just don't mess with a man's family bro because like i said well what happens after that is your fault That's all i gotta say but anyway you be able to like man comment down below and subscribe and roll to 3k so you're not subscribed subscribe follow me on patreon twitter and again channel link in the description down below you feel me subscribe to alex get brother two million subscribe us you know what i'm saying uh shit next week parking zero <laughs> monday 5 p.m i will be live on twitch <laughs> streaming that shit so look hey pull up <laughs> pull up you feel me but anyway love y'all thanks for watching now i'll see y'all in the next one peace